when it comes to the subject physics, lot of people are worried for the NEET 2026. Since you guys know that, in the NEET 2025, question paper of physics was extremely difficult, okay? Hypothetical situations were created, multi-concept questions were asked. Now people are asking me, sir, what about NEET 2026? Are they going to ask the similar type of questions in the NEET 2026? What will be the level of the questions in the NEET 2026 physics paper, okay? Now, my dear friends, and most importantly, is it possible for us to attain the maximum score? I would say 180 out of 180 in the NEET 2026 exam. This video is very important and I will be answering all of your questions in this particular, we say, uh, strategy. Make sure you smash the like button. See guys, see guys, when it comes to the subject physics, this is the subject which is going to decide whether you will enter the medical college or not. Because every time I keep on saying that, physics is the subject which in which maximum number of students lag. I would say 85% students lag in the physics. They are able to do good in biology. They are able to do good in chemistry, but not in physics. Even recently, a lot of my students who used to score 650, who used to score 640 in the mocks, they couldn't solve more than 15 questions in the NEET 2025 physics paper. And after the examination, they called me, sir, I couldn't solve more than 20 questions. I couldn't solve more than 25 questions, okay? And the one who has solved we say 25, 27 questions, he's saying, I am, I will go into the medical college. Okay, because this was the level of physics paper. And one more important thing, if the examiner can mess with a student, he can mess only in one subject that is physics. He cannot mess in biology. He cannot mess in chemistry. It is only the subject physics. That's why we say, if you are able to play good in physics, you are going to enter the medical college. And when it comes to the NEET 2026, we will be expecting the similar pattern of, of questions like we saw in the NEET 2025. Multi-concept questions, okay. We say lengthy questions, okay, okay. So for that, you have to be very prepared. Now, guys, I need to answer a few of the questions over here. Listen to me very carefully. First thing is, is it possible to score 180 out of 180 NEET physics in the limited time? And that too, if we get the same level of paper as we got in NEET 2025, I would say yes, 100% it is possible. If not 180 out of 180, but I would say 170 is possible. 160 is possible, okay? That is for sure. If you get the same level of paper, keep that thing in your mind. But it would need some strategy. It would need some higher tactics that I'm going to share in this particular video, okay? Most importantly, do you need to go beyond NCRT level to score 180 out of 180? If you see the NEET 2025 physics paper, no question was out of the NCRT. All the questions were from the NCRT syllabus, but the questions were lengthy. Hypothetical situations were created. We say the language of the question was difficult, but no question was out of NCRT, that is for sure. Is coaching necessary to score 180 out of 180 if I say, you have to build your strong foundation. You have to make your conceptual strength very strong if the multi-concept questions are asked once again. So we say it is not possible without the proper coaching. It is not possible without the proper teacher. So teacher will help you in that particular case. Is it worth for aiming perfect score in physics? 110% yes, because I say, we say 85% 85, 85 students are able to score good in chemistry and biology but they lag in physics. The one who performs good in physics, he will enter the medical college in the 2025 also. The one who has performed good in the physics, he is going to land into the medical college. Now the question is, how do we make it happen? See guys, what my plans are actually, what my plans are, because a lot of students are asking out there, sir, when will you start? How will you start it? First and the foremost thing, I will be starting with the level up content. Level up content means, means, I will be showing you all the problem patterns which are in the J mains, which are in the need. Because this year, they have asked the questions directly from JEA that were pasted in your NEET examination. So we cannot trust them once again. So maybe if they ask the same level of questions tomorrow, so that's why level of content has to be there. We will have to understand each and every single thing from the scratch. Whatever is the necessary point, in a particular topic, we'll have to understand that. That's what we call the level of content. All the problem patterns, each and every single thing from the basics, we are not supposed to leave anything. That too in a concise way. 
Then we say, I will be showing you the multi-concept question tricks. If there are many concepts involved in a particular question, how can you tackle that particular question? How can you solve that question in a, within a given time frame, like in under one minute? So what are the tactics you need to use for that? That is what is my plan in the upcoming time. And more than two revisions I'll be doing in the entire syllabus. And one more important thing, in every single chapter, I will be solving 500 questions. I will solve 500 questions in the class. Rest 200 I will give you as homework. 700 in a particular chapter is more than sufficient when it comes to the physics. And in those 500 questions, we say all the previous year questions, all the NCRT questions, examples, in-text questions, all the previous year questions of JE mains, NEET, which have been asked in the last 20 years, every single thing I'll be doing, that is for sure. And most importantly, handwritten notes I will be providing you because this is going to help at the end moment when you have to revise the chapter in just five minutes. Okay, how, how you can frame the questions from the NCRT lines, that is also we are going to decide. Okay, then my dear friends, this is all that I'm going to teach in the Phoenix 2.0. Now for that, my dear friends, a lot of students are texting me, sir, please start as soon as possible. And I will be starting from the 11th portion. Most importantly, keep that thing in your mind. Last year, I started with the 12th portion. First, we'll complete the complete 11th portion. Then I will move on to the 12th portion. That is for sure. Okay. And my dear friends, the link is in the description below. If you go on to the description, there's a link. Join the Phoenix Rise 2026. Here is the link. Click on to this link. And you will land onto this particular page over here. You will have to log in with your phone number, okay? And join as soon as possible, okay? Now, this patch is right now only for 4,499 rupees, okay? So, join as soon as possible, okay? Because there are only, on, we say 800 seats are there, only we say 800 seats are filled. We say there are 200 more left. So, I don't want you guys to miss out the any of the live classes out there. So join as soon as possible. Whatever I have told you over here, all these tactics we will be applying in the upcoming times. So be ready for this. 180 out of 180 will be our goal. If not 180 out of 180, at least 170 for sure, I will get you. Okay, so take care and bye-bye. Make sure you join this particular batch. The link is in the description below. We'll be starting the classes very soon. Take care and bye-bye.